Hey, this is Joe from Gojira, and you're listening to the Metal Teddy Bear Experience. Welcome back to the Metal Teddy Bear Experience here on 90.3 WMSC, Upper Montclair. This is your host, Chris. I'm here at Rock Allegiance with Joe from Gojira. What's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing great, thank you. How are you? I'm really excited to be here with you, finally be able to talk to you. I've seen you so many times. Uh, I saw you recently at Broken Steel. That oh, was a cool. killer show, man. Oh, you were at that show? Cool. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Every time you come around the New York circuit, I'll be there. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Good to hear, man. Um, that was a great venue to, because I, I, I never been there before. It was really, really cool, and you guys haven't been there before either, right? Yeah, it was our first time uh, playing that venue, and I was pretty excited because I, I live in Brooklyn, so yeah. this is now my, what I call home, you know? Yeah. And uh, I've heard of this venue before, but uh, never never got a chance to go there. I have kids, you see, so <laughs> I don't go out too much. <laughs> well, you guys have Silver Court Studios there, right? And yeah. In Brooklyn yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah Silver Court is in, uh, technically, it's Queens. Oh, but we okay. still, with, I don't have a problem with calling it Brooklyn because I live in Brooklyn. Uh, the studio is on the edge of, you know, Bushwick, Brooklyn, mm -hmm, Queens. Yeah. But really, technically, it's in Queens. So, uh, but yeah, it's in Ridgewood. It's um, a studio that we built to record and produce our uh, latest record and the next one. That's the plan. Yeah, yeah. You know, to have our own space to produce our music, and it's it's a great it's a great place. To, have you uh, had any work. other bands go there? Yeah, I produced Car Bomb. That is also. Oh, you did from, that there? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And uh, a band from uh, Canada, Decatur, that uh, just released a record and they're on tour now in uh, Canada. So I, I helped on this on this record too. Yeah. And there's a few more projects uh, coming. So because well, right now I noticed Car Bomb's like blowing up too because they're playing with Periphery. They played for you guys uh, with uh, Tesseract at Terminal Five. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, Car Bomb is one of my favorite bands ever. Oh, really? Uh, That's a strong statement coming uh, from you. Yeah, they're absolutely incredible. I can't listen to their record two times in a row, though. You have to. Yeah, yeah. You listen to it one time, but it's so intense and challenging. Uh, but for for every metalhead out there, you know, I strongly recommend you listen to them. Uh, I don't have points on the record. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That thing yeah. doesn't apply really anymore. <laughs> you know, records don't sell yeah. really. But just just check them out. They're incredible. Definitely, especially with Periphery and everything like that. And you, yeah. you're known for bringing on bands. Like, you guys have Code Orange with you uh, yeah. on your tour right now yeah. and, and Torch, yeah. right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, Code Orange and Torch are opening yeah. on this uh, run. And yeah, uh, you, got, you specifically sought them out like to put them on the bill? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For us, it's very important to bring the bands that we uh, we like and we like to introduce to the audience. Sometimes, uh, sometimes we don't know the guys personally, but we just like the music. Or sometimes, you know, the agent or the management will, you know, send us a list of bands, and there's always one or two bands that uh, stick out. Sometimes we have to check them out and make sure we like them. But we always bring bands that we like to introduce to our audience. Yeah, definitely. And, and also, it makes a great. Um, experience for the fans when they come see Gojira and discover new bands. Yeah, because I, I also love the he the heavy element from because like both those bands are like Carbon was heavy, uh, Forever that whole album is like ridiculously heavy. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so it's just like a great bill of just heavy bands. Yeah, we grew up listening to uh, Sepultura and Chaos AD. Oh yeah, in particular was a big influence when we started playing. You guys played Territory too. At yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah. Dude, was that like improvised or you guys planned to do that? We. Uh, we, we, we always played that song, you know, it, it's a song that we played on our first shows uh, a lot and it's easy, it's easy for us to switch and, and go back to that. We know it by heart, even better than some Gojira songs that I have to, to relearn. Yeah. This one I don't ever need to relearn it, it's yeah. like in my bones, you know. Yeah. So it's easy to switch to that song, hey, let's play that tonight. But it worked so well at, Bro in, at the Brooklyn show that we kept playing it on some of the shows of the tour. So. It wasn't just a one thing. We, we oh, you're gonna keep doing yeah, it. Yeah. So uh, magma came out not too long ago. Well, maybe like a year now, or it's been a while. Like uh, June uh, 2016. So yeah, over a year. Okay. So now that it's been out for that long, um, has anything changed for you with the album? Like you still feel the same about it? Like are you still excited? We're excited. You know, we're excited. With it's it's a life. You know, we 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 go on tour for for years, and then we put out a new record, and then go go on tour. And each album brings uh, some fresh blood, you know? 
some uh, fresh energy. So we're still enjoying playing these songs. We we st they're not new songs anymore, but we yeah. we just we we play them better. Uh, yeah, uh, I think so. After a year playing them, yeah. Now we own them. You know, that's the feeling for uh, definitely Magna opening right. up with like only pain is like killer. Yeah, yeah, I like I like the only pain yeah. uh, thing. It's like an explosion right away. Yeah. Okay, this is what we're about now. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the way of all flesh came out in 2008, right? That's correct. Yeah. So the 10 year anniversary is coming up. You guys doing anything True. for that? No, we uh, we're not into that whole anniversary thing. Maybe we'll release something, you know, like a special edition, but. I don't think we'll we'll play a gig uh, where we play the whole album or something like that. I know that I, I like when bands do that, but I don't feel like we're capable of doing that. There's always that one song in the record that we'll never play because it's just too challenging. <laughs> for uh, for that but, record, which one would that be? Uh, Esoteric surgery. There's oh, like I love this, that one. these few seconds that are super challenging. You know, as a guitar player, I can play the whole song easily. As a singer, I can play, I can sing the whole song, but doing both together is 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 a bit challenging. I, I, I could that. do it, I could do it, but I'm just super lazy. <laughs> Sorry. No, that's all good, because uh, I know uh, from Mars the Series came out before that, obviously. So it's 10th anniversary. You already came. You guys really didn't do anything for it, so I was wondering if you guys were doing it for the way of all. No, I, I know that we uh, one day we, uh, we woke up on the tour of us like, hey. <laughs> it's the ten year. It's the you know. It's from us this year's tenth birthday or whatever. Yeah, and that was it. Do you guys? Because you said in Silver Court Studio you want to write your new record there. Have you guys been writing or doing anything yet? You know, we always think about the next step. You know, like every other band, I guess it's hard to put a date on. Oh, that's the day we started to work on the record. We always work, always have new ideas, always riffing or you know jamming, and and searching. You know, it's. Um, I see it like as doing research when you're a musician and you try to come up with new uh, flavors, new ideas, new tones, new uh, uh, patterns. That's We always do that. So it's hard to tell when exactly we started to work on this new record. And we actually have ideas that we were going to use on Magma that I think we're going to use on the new record. So Okay. Anything you want to share? Any ideas or no? Uh, well, you want me to sing or uh, <laughs> yes, right now? Let's go. <laughs> I'm ready for this. The one that goes like da 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 da. All right. Um, so w a while ago, I don't, I don't know when you guys released the uh, Sea Shepherd EP with a uh, Blood and Salt. Yep. Is anything ever happening with that or no? So we we released one song that um, the goal of that whole operation was to put the spotlights on Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. Uh, which I think is important as an artist to, you know, to to put the spotlights on something more important than uh, just being a band and, and promoting our band always. There's other things to promote and uh, uh, Sea Shepherd Conf Conservation Society uh, are doing an amazing job at uh, uh, protecting the oceans and they're, they're trying their best to save the, the, the few whales left alive and there's a few tunas, I think, that are still alive in the ocean. Uh, stop eating that, please, <laughs> right now. Um, so we, we like to, you know, talk about them and stuff. So somehow, mission accomplished because we brought a lot of people uh, to their cause and we brought more attention to them. And they, they told us that, too. It's like, oh, we noticed that we have more metalheads now uh, subscribing and sending money, you know. Because they they work only with the individual uh, donations. They don't work with any you know corporations or uh, anything like that. So we like al also the way they do things and their uh, ethic, you know. Um, but we recorded four songs. One was released with Devin Townsend and and Frederick uh, Thordendal from Sugar. Um, the song is called Of Blood and Salt, and it was released in 2011. There's three other songs that were. Um, on a hard drive that crashed at the time, and it, it was a huge pain in the butt to uh, we thrived the, all of this. But it was done like two years later. But we were such on a roll with the band, and we're doing an album and going on tour that it was difficult to go back to that. But right now, as we speak, I have an engineer in my studio uh, putting all this back together, and we're trying to 
make this happen finally. But I don't want to make a statement. Oh, this is the release yeah, date because yeah. I learned my lesson. Yeah, yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll talk about it when it's ready. But I'm course, still yeah. working on it. Yeah. That's great to hear, though, that yeah. you guys are working on it. Yeah. And uh, I actually never heard of Sea Shepherd before you guys, so you guys did do your part. Awesome. There you go. Um, during my show, I asked three random silly questions. You ready to take part in that? Go ahead. All right. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, fine. Yeah, whatever. whatever. All right. So, if you could take any of your albums and make it into a movie, which album would you choose, and who would star in it? Yeah. It's a tough one. <laughs> that's, a t that's a tough one. It's a kind of a, I could just, I could say anything really. Uh, <laughs> Christopher Walken. Ooh. Okay. Uh, starring the Magma movie. The Magma could be movie. Interesting. Okay. You know. Cool. I like it. Surfing on a lava wave or something? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what is your biggest pet peeve while on tour? You know, uh, one thing that the worst thing for, for a singer, I think, is when you lose your voice. Oh, yeah. And uh, if I don't practice enough before a tour, which is the case on that tour, I didn't practice enough. I was on a vacation in Mexico for a week. And uh, I, didn't pr I didn't get to practice. Okay. At that time, my vacation was more important. Like yes, being of with course. my family, my kids. It was vital for me. Yeah. It's been such an intense year. Uh, but as a result, I started the tour by blowing my voice right away on the first <laughs> show in Brooklyn, actually. Yeah. We were there, my friend. Uh, after three songs, I lost my voice. You know, in, the, in that moment when you're trying to talk to the crowd and be like, hey, we're Gojira, we're super happy to be yeah. here, we're super strong. And it went like, ah, well, uh, we're happy to be here. <laughs> it went like that, and I'm like, damn, darn. What am I, su what am I supposed to say? Um, it was terrible. So that's my worst nightmare, is to lose my voice right away on a tour. And then it could go either way. I could, you know, uh, really rest a lot, sleep a lot, drink a lot of water, yeah. and be better the day after. Or it could get worse and worse for three days, and then it's a total nightmare. So on that tour, I'm in between somewhere in between so it's not too bad but that's my worst nightmare and it happened a few times maybe oh well, don't worry the times. crowd didn't notice you, were, you sounded great cool thank you <laughs> uh question number three final question um what is your favorite thing to do while on tour other than playing shows you know my favorite thing to do on tour is take naps oh, okay that works. yeah taking naps man is something that I never enjoyed doing when I was a teenager, super hyper and starting the band and all, you yeah. know, like always super, super active on top of everything, managing and stuff. Napping was never a thing, even when I was a kid. But now when I'm on tour and it's like, it's gray and we're in a parking lot all day and there's no dressing rooms <laughs> and the bus looks like from, from outside, it looks pretty nasty, you know, 12 guys in a bus you know, yeah. for a month. It could be kind of scary and stinky you know? <laughs> but course. but i gotta say man when you when you go in your bunk and you you close the curtains and you, there's nothing else to do just rest before a show mm -hmm. i find that uh nap very uh amazing and that's what i'm gonna do next after this <laughs> interview. i'm gonna go for a nap and you know what it's always too short it's yeah always too short well i won't keep you anymore uh any plans <laughs> any plans after this after rock allegiance and your tour yeah i think you end in october right uh, yeah, yeah, October 22nd, I believe, is the end of this tour. Uh, well, my, my plan is to be, you know, to be home and... Uh, take some naps? <laughs> uh, take na no, I don't take naps at home. I have kids. Oh, okay. So, uh, so just be with my family. Okay, yeah, nice, man. Absolutely. Thank you so much for doing this, and good luck on your show tonight. Thank you very much.